guys, it's Jessica Gilbert with Sunny Living, and today I'm going to talk about the six products that you need to ditch and switch today. I'm going to read from my notes today because there's a lot of information in here and I don't want to say it wrong. So, excuse me if you see me looking up and down, that's what I'm doing. So, um, but the number one thing you should ditch is dryer sheets. They contain many, um, many dryer sheets contain fragrance and other chemicals that can trigger asthma and disrupt hormones. In one study, researchers tested five name brand dryer sheets. The findings showed that the dryer sheets emitting 15 endocrine disrupting compounds, EDCs, and chemicals associated with asthma. Evidence from studies suggests that EDCs can affect developing reproductive and nervous system met uh, met metabolism excuse me, and cancer, says Carol Trimmer. In her blog post, Why You Should Avoid Toxic Dryer Sheets, Carol also lists unsafe testing practices and not having to disclose fragrance ingredients as major reasons you should consider not using dryer sheets anymore. Wool dryer balls are what I use, and they're awesome, and they do the exact same thing. And I like to use lavender essential oil on them, but you can literally mix any sort of concoction that you want to make your laundry smell like whatever you want to. So, um... And then if you're like me and do not like to throw things away, you can actually use those dryer sheets for something. They are not completely useless. They work great to clean up drywall dust and they also repel mice. So if you want to stuff them in a hole where you see mice are coming through, mice are not gonna come back. And if a animal that has the brain of a size of a pea doesn't want to be around them, that should be concerning to you. Think about that. Hand soap. The Center for Disease Control refers to hand washing as a do-it-yourself vaccine. For being such a powerful way to remove germs, avoid getting sick, and prevent the spread of germs to others. Unfortunately, the hand soaps we use to try to stay healthy commonly contain toxic substances that can harm our health. Even hand soaps labeled as natural commonly contain toxic ingredients because there are no federal regulations stipulating criteria for personal care products labeled as natural. How to choose a chemical-free hand soap. The top six ingredients to avoid. Fragrance, that's the big one. Parabens. Um, sodium, well, excuse me guys, I'm probably going to butcher these, but I'll give you the abbreviations too so you can look those up. Sodium laureth sulfate, S-L-E-S. Sodium laurel sulfate, S-L-S. Methosilozolione. I don't know. Coca Mido Ropolita Benanine. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Try Closan. So, again, if you can't read the words that are on your natural soap, you probably shouldn't be using that because a lot of times those big words mean something that shouldn't be on your body. So, don't use that. Did you know that Young Living has an amazing selection of hand soaps that leave out all the ingredients you want to avoid? I have used nothing but Thieves hand soap for more than two years now, and being in the cleaning industry, you wash your hands a lot, and it gets super dried out. I need a good soap that cleans but doesn't dry out my hands, and I wash them very frequently, sometimes up to 30 times a day. I also learned to make my own hand soap with, with Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap, Thieves Essential Oil, and water, because sometimes I was just out of the stuff that I had from Young Living, so I had to get crafty, so... If you ever run out of your Young Living hand soap, you can always make your own. It's really not hard. Dish soap. Dawn dish soap is often advertised as safe, biodegradable, and gentle on skin. However, according to the article Dish Soaps, the Good, the Bad, and the Toxic, it is anything but safe, gentle, or biodegradable. The Environmental Working Group gave a Dawn a D grade because it, uh, because of it contain, contain, excuse me, containing that methosilioliozoni, that word that I cannot say right, and it's on the other, it's in the hand soaps, it's also in dish soaps. And it can, it's high, high concern, acute aquatic toxicity. Comes, excuse me. So the way that I'm reading this, EWG has different ratings and then they break up some things. They say High concern, some concern, and then, so that's what I'm, why I'm reading high concern, some concern, so <laughs> that's what that is. So the high concern is the acute aquatic toxicity. Some concern reads, 
skin irritation, and allergies and damage. Sounds delightful, right? So Dawn also contains one to four, or no, 14 dioxane, which is considered a groundwater contaminant. So it's also contaminating the water that we drink. So that's not great. I have many friends who are meticulous about making sure the wine and the food that they eat is GMO-free, organic, fair trade, but never think about what is on the dishes that they eat, these amazing wines and foods. Have you ever noticed that after a while when you use a dish sponge, it starts to smell like sour milk? I thought it was just something that always happened no matter what kind of soap you use until I switched to these dish soap. And it's, I don't know the exact chemical that's in it, but I've heard from other friends who switched to more natural soaps that as soon as they switched from Dawn dish soap, the soured sponge wasn't a thing anymore. So another positive for using natural cleaners. Um, I also love that it's concentrated and when you buy the Thieves dish soap, you can make three more bottles of it. So I like to pour two thirds of it into a glass mason jar, put the rest of it with hot water and then a tablespoon of baking soda to make it fizz a little bit. And then like I said, you've got three bottles of soap in one bottle. So, um, and that's, oh yeah, I love using a product that I know cleans my dishes but leaves nothing behind that is harmful for my family when I eat our meals together. So hand sanitizer. I used to use Germex a lot, but I never seemed to make a difference when I got into an airplane. I got sick every time I flew. The first time I met Jason's family in Key West, I brought a terrible flu with me and gave it to almost everyone there. Great first impression, right? Um, thankfully, I got over the flu and my overall impression on his family was positive despite getting everyone else sick. I never thought that my addiction to hand sanitizer was probably to blame. When you use products that breed antibacterial resistant germs, you're bound to get sick. I was finally able to fly without getting sick when I replaced my Germex for Thieves hand sanitizer and used Travel Size household, Thieves household cleaner to sanitize my seat and my surrounding area. This time, we were flying back to Key West for everyone to meet our three-year-old son, James, for the first time. It made my person, I made it my personal mission to not repeat my first trip to the Keys and get everyone sick. Fortunately, I did not bring the flu with me, and I just had a, to travel with a three-year-old boy, so that was a whole other challenge. Um, All-purpose cleaners and disinfectants. So this is the big one, guys. When I changed from bleach sprays to thieves, I noticed a huge difference in not only my business, but in my health. So I didn't always used to be a green cleaner. I used to love bleach until I sent, until it sent me to the hospital for bleach poisoning. The eviction cleaning I did for a friend in an attempt to help repair the damage done to her rental property was so disgusting. I didn't know any better than to use bleach to get to this level or to get this level of filth cleaned. I took every precaution you can use. I wore goggles, gloves, a vented mask, but none of it made a difference and the bleach vapors got inside my goggles, on my face, in my hair, on my arms, in my lungs. My vision was cloudy, my breathing was shallow, my, the skin on my face and arms were burned. After I finished this job, I swore off bleach products forever. It took me months of searching and trying all kinds of products before I found one that gives me the results I want with no harsh fumes or chemicals. After this experience, I swore I would never use bleach products again unless it was in the laundry. I started to notice how much I was spending on cleaning products and how often I was going to the store to refill my cleaning supplies because there were single-use products and they ran out quickly. I was easily spending $150 to $200 in cleaning supplies every week for my cleaning business. Although they were write-offs, it still was a major portion of my monthly expenses at the end of the year. I started trying the all-natural cleaners I could find at Target and wasted hundreds of dollars trying products that were anything but natural until I found Thieves Household Cleaner. The more I learned about Thieves, the more I was impressed. It, I love that you can make 30 bottles uh, out of the concentrate. I love the scent that it leaves, and I love the streak-free shine on all hard surfaces. I especially love that it saved me thousands of dollars a year by replacing Murphy's Wood Oil, Clorox cleanup spray, scrubbing bubbles, Lysol toilet bowl cleaner, disinfecting wipes like Clorox wipes, Lysol spray, Febreze, Windex, and Pine Sol. 
But the best part is that I have a noticeable improvement in my health. I used to get sick at least three to four times a month from all the bugs my son was bringing home from daycare and preschool. It was starting to affect my ability to work because I couldn't take my son to daycare sick and he and I were passing colds back and forth so I would have to call in sick too myself. I finally kicked the germs out of our house after I kicked bleach to the curb. Sorry guys, I was reading really intently because I really wanted to get all that in but let me just stay there for one more second because I wish I had all those products. I could just put it out here on the table. The amount of products that I used to bring into people's homes would cover this whole table. And I had to go to the store at least, at least once a week because something was always running out. So not only am I saving money, but I'm saving time and spending more time with my family because I don't have to run back and forth to the store all the time. So. I've had some people go like, oh, I don't want to spend $30 on a concentrate, but you're spending the same amount on those garbage dollar store cleaners. It's literally cheaper per bottle. If you have the membership, it's $22 actually. So it's close to like 75 cents per serving if you're going to be that strict about what you're spending. So like I said, I... I'm very passionate about Thieves Household Cleaner. If there's any one product that you should ditch and switch, it is your disinfecting spray. And you should definitely use Thieves Household Cleaner because that's the game changer for me. So I'll get off my Thieves soap soapbox for a second and get back to it. This is the last one that you should really consider. And it's for Breeze. Handles, air fresheners, and wax burners. They are terrible products, A, and these are by far the worst offenders according to the EWG ratings for those with sensitive lungs. They all get F grades for the fragrances that they use in their ingredients. I have to ask in my estimates, uh, in my estimate questions for people's allergies and sensitivities because so often people ask me not to use fabric refreshing sprays because they leave a harsh fume behind that hurts their lungs. They literally feel heavy. I had somebody tell me my lungs feel heavy after you leave because you sprayed so much for grease. This was before I was a green human. Um, when I started cleaning for an older bachelor named Tom, I used to love for breeze to finish my jobs that with what I thought was a fresh clean scent. But Tom was the first client I had asked me not to use it because it hurt his lungs. He suffers from COPD. When I switched to Thieves Household Cleaner, he immediately noticed because all the fuming chemicals I used to use were no longer lingering in the air and I no longer had Febreze in my caddy. He got pneumonia and needed oxygen for a few months, but he credited my, credited my cleaning method and switched to natural cleaners as the reason he was able to get off oxygen a few months later. That was by far my favorite um, review. He doesn't know how to use Google, so he couldn't put it on Google for me, but... It made me cry when he told me that. I was like, really? I made that much of a difference to you? Like, just being able to use the right method and the right products in your home. Like, that is so cool. Um, now that I know better, I, use, I only use diffusers to make a home smell fresh. I trust Young Living Essential Oils over other brands because I tried cheaper oils and they never did anything for sleep support, anxiety support, digestive issues or killing airborne germs like they claimed they would. I used doTERRA oils for almost two years, and at first, they were okay, but I noticed after a while I no, no, no longer saw the results I was searching for, and my oils would just collect the dust on the shelf. No offense to my doTERRA friends. You guys, if it works for you, that's fine, but they didn't work great for me. When I tried diffusing Young Living oils, I knew though uh, these were different because they were so much stronger. I could use three to five drops of thieves versus eight to ten drops of On Guard to keep uh, airborne germs away. I also did some research on the seed to seal promise on how to, pr on how, excuse me, sorry. I also did some research on the seed to seal promise and how that process sets Young Living apart from other essential oil companies. Sorry, got a little tongue tied there. They own all the farms they plant uh, and grow. They own all the farms that plants are grown on to ensure quality, sustainable, and ethical harvesting practices. In fact, they only use sustainable and ethical practices in every step of the process from growing, harvesting, distilling, bottling, packaging, and shipping. 
I feel good knowing that my money doesn't support a large corporation that pays its employees starvation wages and treats the earth like it is a precious commodity and never and not a never ending resource. Um, a couple of my friends have been to the farms that grow all this stuff. Um, there's some in Utah and in Colorado. They're all over the world, but the ones that my friends went to were closer to Montana. So, um, and the fields there are amazing. Like the people, you can tell the farmers and the people that work in these fields are actually happy to be there. They're not like they're not being treated poorly. Like when I buy something, I want to know that. I'm contributing to a company that treats its employees well. I like to treat my employees well, and I think that that shows in not only our business practices, but also our customer service. Um, and I feel like Young Living does a really good job of doing that as well. So I feel like whenever I spend my money with Young Living, I know that I'm contributing to a company that takes care of its employees and also takes care of the earth because I don't want pest uh, I don't want plants that are full of pesticides to be distilled into a bottle and then diffused into my home. Like That's kind of counterproductive. So they're very, very ethical on every single part of distilling and harvesting and sending it to you. So even the packaging and shipping is sustainable and ethical. So um, that's why I decided Young Living was different than other companies, and that's why I like them. So, um, those are the six products that you should consider ditching and switching. We'll just go back over them real quick. It is, one second, dryer sheets, hand soap, dish soap, hand sanitizer, your all-purpose cleaner, and Febreze. You should stay away from those and consider switching to more natural products. So that was a mouthful, guys. Thanks for staying with me. This is Jessica Gilbert with Sunny Living. Make sure to like and subscribe before you go.